Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Quiche with Quiche Does TV, and I'm going to show you some cool stuff you can do with Facebook pages today. So, um, if you don't already know, creating a page is a great way to keep things kind of separate from your personal profile. If you own a company or have a band or, or some sort of artist and you want a place where anyone can like you and get updates, a page is a great way to go. Um, and even there are new features in Facebook that lets you use Facebook as if you were that page. So you can actually leave comments and invite people as if you were that uh, entity. So um, we're going to create a page. Um, let me go back just in case you didn't see the URL. It's facebook.com slash pages slash manage. Um, create a page. Um, we'll say I'm an artist and musician, band. Uh, what do I want to use? Okay, I've got a, I just pulled up a band name maker. Uh, let's use the first one, Blue Confusion. All right. Uh, we're off to an awesome star. We got an awesome band name. So, um, so yeah. All right. Uh, so I just created a page. Uh, these are really easy to do. Just some steps to upload an image, get your page kind of looking good the way you want it. Um, here, I'll just uh, uh, do this. And it really, I mean, it looks a lot like it looks a lot like a regular profile. Here's where you can suggest to friends and all that stuff. What we want to do is if someone comes to the page, we want to actually um, show a custom page with design and everything like that. Um, before you used to have to use uh, an app called FBML, you actually can't do that anymore. You have to use an iframe. So it's not as straightforward to set up, but we're going to do that. Um, it'll be a link here. Also, if you edit your page, um, the default landing tab, you'll be able to pick um, the new page that we create. So anyone that doesn't already like the page and comes to check it out, they'll see that one first before seeing the wall, which is cool because, you know, if you're a band, you can put your um, some MP3s for them to listen to you know, some images, some photos, if you're a photographer. Um, there's a lot of things you can do that might actually um, get more people to, to like you or to know what you're about. So um, we've got the page. I'm not going to mess with any more of this stuff right now. Um, once you've got that, you go to a separate place. You need to install the developers app. So you go to facebook.com slash developers. If you, don't already, if you don't already have the app installed, then you'll need to install it. Basically, all it says is, do you is it okay for the app to gain access to your profile? It doesn't really do anything. So, um, yeah, you install that and then set up a new app. Uh, what do we, let's see, okay. Uh, Blue Confusion tab, we'll just call it that. And it does have these stupid captures which Facebook seem to be pretty hard to get past okay uh, I did that you've got the application name a description if you want an icon which is going to show on that menu um, that I showed you on your page I'm not going to do anything there yet so you'll see these gears uh, later on uh, we want to go to website uh, site URL. So <clears throat> I've set up quichedoes.tv slash Facebook. And uh, so it's basically all it is is a file that says hello Facebook. That's all it says. So um, and it's uh, index.php. So you can see it's the same thing. I'm just going to copy that URL. So the site URL is going to go there. Um, we may not need that. Um, let's see. We'll call it Blue Confusion Tab. This is the URL where people can go to see your app. Um, we don't really want anyone to go here for, since it's going to be on our page. So it's not extremely important what it is. 
uh, canvas URL. We're just going to put it there without the file name, just the directory name. But down here, uh, let's just call this like us. And the tab URL, you do want to put the file name in here. Not sure why it matters, but you do. So um, save the changes. And so we have an app created. So uh, the Canvas page, if we go here, it is a page where our app is. And so we see, hello, Facebook. Same here, but it's in an iframe on, on Facebook. So we can add basically anything you can do in HTML you can do on here. Um, videos, photos, um, CSS, uh, you know, you can do a lot of really cool uh, design stuff. So um, the now we want to add that to our page. So click on the application profile, and then there's a link that says add to my page, and we want to add to Blue Confusion. Close that. And so now if uh, we go back here and reload, uh, here is our like us. So we click on it and it loads it loads that in just like we'd expect. You don't have a lot of room, you know, it's um, maybe about half the page, but you can do a lot of cool stuff and make it look uh, really custom. Now, um, you can, like I said, you can put your own HTML and stuff. We're gonna do, we're gonna move on to a little bit more of an advanced part of this. So what I want to do is, if someone gets to this and they like our page, show them something different than if they don't like our page. And um, it's pretty easy to do if you haven't done uh, PHP or anything like that before. This may um, blow your mind a little bit, but if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will try and answer as best as I can. Um, so basically, if you know anything about how um, submissions work, like form submissions, it sends it as a post submission. So I'm going to show you. So I've got, um, let's open uh, this file up in my text editor. So here is my uh, page. So <clears throat> since it's a PHP page, I'm going to add some pre tags here and um, print R is uh, going to show us um, what all is in the uh, it's it's going to show us everything that was inside of this array the data that was posted to our page. So if I load this back up, so this is what that did. It it print it uh, printed out a signed request, which is this big long string of goop that means nothing to us really. So what we need to do is actually decode that, and that will have some information that we can find useful. So uh, if you go to github.com slash Facebook slash PHP dash SDK. Um, this is actually software that's developed by Facebook um, to be able to interact with their pages. Here's the big uh, downloads button. You download it. I already have it downloaded. And it's a zip file that contains all these. Here are the two files you want, the Facebook and the certificate, which I have already uploaded here. And in examples, we'll open that up, are some examples, believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> so this is the code that we really care about. Um, if you aren't familiar with object-oriented code, then like I said, it might um, scare you a little bit. You don't really have to worry about it too much. You can just uh, copy and paste it in there. Uh, I have the facebook.php file in the same directory, so I can take that out. And you'll need a few things. Uh, 
you'll need the app ID and a secret and that's on your let's see if we can go back here okay so this page that showed us all the stuff so here's our app ID alright just paste that in here's the app secret paste that in and so now we have our Facebook object um, I don't need that anymore. So with that Facebook object, you can actually run methods on that. Um, and if you're, again, if you're not familiar, you can just actually just straight up copy this code. You'll need to put in your own uh, app ID and secret, which I'm not keeping that app, so you won't be able to <laughs> uh, get into it or anything. Um, so we're gonna create a variable called data and uh, we want Facebook, our Facebook object, to run a method called get signed request. All right, so um, we have this variable called data. We can just actually replace this. And uh, so it's gonna basically print out everything that's in that data array so let's go back to our page and reload it. Okay, so yeah, we've got a lot more stuff. The only thing we really care about is page and then liked. So as you can see, um, admin is one. You can also tell if they're an admin or not. Um, but liked, there's nothing there. Um, so if I actually like this page, it's a one now so and uh, I click unlike and it's blank again so we can actually do something pretty cool here um, we're gonna say uh, if data page liked equals one Oop. and let's go ahead and add our end if statement uh, we'll add a hooray you like us and then what we'll do is else you don't like us yet please press the like button all right so uh, if uh, liked equals one like we saw it up there then everything before this else statement it's gonna put on the page if not then it's gonna put everything here so you can add images or you know you could do a completely different design if you wanted to but let's check this out so I'm reloading the page and hello Facebook you don't like us yet please please uh, press the like button so I'm gonna press it and hello Facebook hooray you like us so uh, there you go hopefully um, that's helpful to you uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please uh, leave some in the comments. And if you liked it, um, like the video, and uh, I would appreciate any feedback. So, till next time, later.